All right, in this video, we want to talk about union types or have multiple types for a variable. So again, I'm going to delete everything and start by creating an array. So we already covered the arrays and how we can define them. So if I say I have an arrays of a string, then that means I can only provide a strings here. So if I add a number, then I would get an error. But let's say you want to have multiple types in an array. And first, I'm going to delete this explicit type assignment. So we have a colors variable that I'm going to set it to an array, and I will have a string and a number and a boolean. So we have three types, and we are letting TypeScript to infer the type of this array or this variable. If we hover over the colors variable, you notice the type is set to parentheses, a string, pipe number, pipe boolean. That is union types. Basically, we are saying we are not expecting only one type of value. We are expecting these three or two or any number of types we want. So you can define the union types using this pipe operator. Now let's do the same thing, but be explicit about it. So I can say in this colors array, I expect a string or so using the pipe number or a boolean. These are just the types, right? So we want to say this is an array, so we provide the empty curly brackets, and then we assign something to it. Now, since we are using let to declare this variable, we don't need to assign it right away. We can initialize it like this, and down here, we can say colors is now maybe red, some number, some boolean, maybe another string, another boolean. It doesn't really matter as long as the types of the elements are either a string, a number, or boolean. But if we add a type that is not specified up here, then we will get an error. So we can't have a type date in this array because we didn't say we expect that. So this could be applied to anything, even a single variables. For example, sometimes the ID of an object or a property could be a number or a string. So we want to be more flexible. So we can set the type of a variable, in this case, we want to call it ID, to a string or a number. So then if I set the ID to, for example, a number, that's fine. If I set it to a string, that is also fine. So in the very first videos, we talked about this a special type any. And as I mentioned, it's not recommended to use that so often. Instead, we can use a union if we are expecting more than one type of value in an array or in a variable. And that's all about unions. It's very easy. We just have to separate the type that we are expecting using pipe. And if we take a look at our app.js, you can see it's quite simple. We just have two variables and an array. And you can see how much difference there is between TypeScript and vanilla JavaScript. And again, TypeScript is there to help us avoid errors when we are developing, because when it goes back to production, it's all JavaScript. Anyway, let's talk about functions in the next video.